Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. What did Igbo man do to you? What did Igbo people do to you, Nigeria? We wanted to live in 1967. They said no. After the war, they seized Igbo property in River State as abandoned property. Now and again, they are using a River State man, Ikwere, to stop on Igbo. Have you had the letters? You need to watch this video and we'll be right back. A developer of a multi-billionaire property near Asokoro has called on President Bola Tinubu's intervention following its demolition by the FCT administration. The property, which sits on a 214 hectare plot, was said to have been pulled down without any other of revocation issued by the authorities of the FCT. It marks the first major demolition by the Inyesom Wiki administration. On Wednesday morning, scores of armed security operatives, including soldiers, policemen, and civil defense, surround the 214 hectare property near Sokoro, where multiple luxury duplexes are being developed. After about six hours, the buildings, some of which had got to lintel level, and the fence are all pulled down and left in a heap of rubble. The property is owned by one of the foremost private developers in Abuja, Prako Nigeria Limited, led by Linus and Nicholas Ukachuku. Ukachuku claims the demolition was done in bad faith. We can call for a meeting over the land. We went with our documents. After I see what we have with our lawyer and the other people's other the sunrise, which they get part of that land. And the weekend said that there is nothing on this that uh, the court should take effect. After going around the land, his normal ways of behavior, he started shouting, how would they take this all this land and give to Igbo man? According to him, all the legal titles of the property had been obtained, including two ministerial approvals, the latest from the Ashwal FCT minister, Hello, Mohammed. They went through all due process, including ministerial approval. We have full final title, certificate, and offer. A certificate of occupancy? Yes, offer to certificate of occupancy. Most alarming, according to him, is that there was no order revoking his rights to the property before the demolition took place. As I'm talking to you now, we are not receiving any documents. All these things, is only what we saw, the demolition. The title has not been revoked. We have not been served. Ukachiku also insists the action of the minister of the FCT runs contrary to two pending court orders restraining any action by the FCT on the plot of land. Two separate court, each with different court order, restraining him from tampering or doing anything in those uh, property. But all of a sudden today, we cannot move all, all the caterpillars in Abuja and went and started pulling those properties that we have invested billions into, done. He wants President Tinubu to wade into the matter to protect the rights of genuine investors and businessmen. Call him Mr. President, who I know that has nothing to do with the tribe, to call on the bridge, either he remove this man. He said the president has nothing to do with this. We are yet to know. We are yet to know because we understand Nigerians' vendetta against a particular race. Jealousy. He said the president has nothing to do with this. We are yet to know. But I'm imploring all top Igbo heavyweights in Nigeria. Let's get to the root of this matter. This cannot just pass like others. No. Yes, quite all right. We have advised our Igbo people. Stop buying these properties. But I think this man, in this case, is a developer. When he develops his sales as business, which is normal. I don't think he's um, he bought the property to keep it for use. And we still advise people, stop buying. Unless for business, at which you sell. Now, let's get to the root of this. We invited them. The man you see is Okachuku, is a developer. Wiki invited them. 
concerning the property. A property that sits on 213 hectares is quite a big property. They were invited. They came with their lawyer. They presented documents. We can went through the documents and was like, this is nothing. And before you know it, the next thing they saw was, okay, they said we came, went, you know, through the land and was like, listen carefully. He said, why should they give such a property to Igbo man? Wike is from Ikwere. Oh my God. I am yet to believe my ears. You had him say that. You had Okachuku say that. Why would they give such properties to an Igbo man? Hey, after denying that they are Igbos, doing whatever, then seizing our property in the name of abandoned property. The, you know, what has we cannot done? Are we talking about the Oyibo? What has we cannot done? Now, it, they made him minister in Abuja. And, um, you know, he has the right, he feels he has the right to do anything as a minister. Unless God is, there is no God in heaven. And I know that there is God. Karma is one, not just karma. Igbo people should get involved. We want to get to the root of this matter. He must be made to pay. Yes. Following the law. Yes. Let's explore all legal means. All means that are required by the law. Igbo should get to the root of this matter. How can they give this particular land to an Igbo man? And they went on, demolished it. They did not serve them any documents. They did not revoke whether it's the title deed whatsoever. And the owner of this land has every document for the land including ministerial approval, the former minister. Nigeria. I feel so bad when I heard of this. Nigeria. Can you imagine? This property worth billions of naira. How can they give such land to an Igbo man? The one with identity crisis. The other day, I saw somebody from Ukraine raising alarm that Igbo people have bought up the abandon properties again and i was imagining what the type of wiki and his likes will feel about that they finished with us in river state they came to abuja i know he has seen records just like erufa i saw record and said it's 72 percent which i don't really um brag about i don't i'm not happy about it because if such money were cornered to southeast, we will see the impact. But then we have a right. If we, we are still Nigerians, we have the right to own properties anywhere. Not by force, with our hard-earned monies. Even though I will still tell my people, stop buying. But this man is buying for business, buying to develop and sell. Igbo should write petition against this man. Igbo should write petition. Igbo should jointly write petition. I don't know why arrogant people are, are, are given certain jobs. This project by Okachuku, like I told you earlier, 214 hectares. 
It has reached the lintel level. So you know how much that has been invested already. And they went to bulldoze it. He took soldiers and I think civil defense. Ndi Ikwere. I know not all Ikwere people are like this. Ndi Ikwere. I know not all Ikwere people are like this. Let's see to this. Ndi Ibo, let's keep following this story. Let's raise a petition against this. Because all Zutu of Waka Ometuaha If we don't talk, they are coming. He is still coming for others. Because he will be emboldened. If no one talks to him, he will still come for others. I don't I can't go further on this video but uh, maybe later if there are updates I'll bring but please share widely share widely if you have not subscribed to our channel please subscribe follow us on Facebook Twitter and Instagram subscribe to our YouTube channel bye bye for now